compare what good looks like to what you've uploaded. Right, because there's yeah. a lot of scams. That, yeah, totally yeah. a different thing. But for example, yesterday I got um, an SMS. It's from DPD. Because of the because of the onboarding, all the files get siphoned off because there might be high res, I don't know, four or five megatons, yeah, whatever yeah, they yeah. might be, and people just go and go. Oh, and you know what you do you with S three buckets? Uh, you do dumps. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes. Wow! Yeah. Wow! So, so national, oh, sorry, yeah. uh, national. School. Not uh, astronauts. Aerospace. Astronauts have to go through some slightly better process. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All, Can all you breathe up there, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> Your ID is fake. Yeah. <laughs> now, if he's up there, he's already on board. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or he oh, snuck he's, his he's, cat on board and just threw a 16 yeah. following. <laughs> there was a story if you're out there, Jeff Hamill, we know what your bird did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, our uh, producer uh, 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 just walked in. We, we promised not to get controversial, but I think we did. Sorry, Stuart. Yeah. Yeah. All right, no worries. So, so basically, what they what NASA does is uses our tech to verify all employees oh, and subcontractors. Up. Sorry. Yeah. Your customers NASA. Yeah, yeah. No, nice. big boys. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, Stuart. Sorry. So that, but that's that's the use case where we do employee onboarding, basically. Wow. So, so when they when they're verified, then they get access wow. to the buildings. They get access to the internal systems and all the rest yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. How many Bud Light years have you got? <laughs> <laughs> We're not allowed Smooth. to see. We're not allowed but, to see. But I, but I, I, sorry, I, I was. I got I gone from the kind of we and we talked about it when uh, we had uh, Denise on the show uh, a few weeks back. Bob. Uh, oh, Bob, yes, of course. Um, <laughs> in the secret bunker, we had Denise in, and we and we were quizzing her on on not so much quizzing her on, but we talked a little bit about the dating apps for various reasons. Please watch the show. I forget. Uh, but I'm not as old as Stuart yeah. claims not to be. <laughs> yeah. No, he thinks he's he thinks he's 21, but he's forgot he's 50 nearly. Uh, but he, we were talking about how it's important, particularly when you you know. Financial things aside, for the moment, uh, if you want to date somebody, you want to make sure their name's not George, Susan, Jemima, whatever it might be. They are, they are who they say they are. In financial world, that make, that makes a lot of sense. If you're going to conduct business with them, lend them money, all that kind of good stuff, you want to risk assess. I imagine when we, when you onboard somebody, that tells you a multitude of things. Yeah, so that's cha them. that's changing a lot. So the traditional way was basically take a picture of an ID, take a picture of your face. Mm. Make sure they match, and and you'd yeah. use machine learning to basically, or or AI, whatever you want to call it, to match your face. I see with an idea. I don't know if it worked with yours, but generally <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so who needs, uh, a, uh, who needs a dump in the show? You've just yeah. been dumped. Oh, we'll hold the podcast right here for one moment. Are we ready? One, two, three. <laughs> yeah. you, Stuart. Ring that bell. Subscribe. I, I'll, I'll it's all you, live here. I'll think you. Yeah, I think you'll find my face fits most AI. Nah, no, probably doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, compared to compared the face of the ID. <laughs> this episode will be hilarious yeah. sorry brother right. uh, I know just picturing uh, stuff like yeah, <laughs> you're not, not Johnny this fart is, pants you know. <laughs> this is not an AI generated image it's using my exactly like, Johnny fart pants like it's, yeah. not like, it's not like that <laughs> sorry Stuart please no worries so that's the traditional way is basically scanning the ID make sure the ID isn't falsified so you can you can yeah. just from an image of an ID you can figure out has someone replaced the picture on Photoshop okay, or right, have they done it manually? Have the fonts changed? Have the font faces, are they the same as what they should be? Yep. Right? So traditional ID verification is basically having like templates that are what good should look like. Yep. And then when you upload it, it will compare what good looks like to what you've uploaded. Right, because right? there's yeah. a lot of scams. That, it's yeah, totally yeah. a different thing. But for example, yesterday I got um, an SMS and it's from DPD. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that old story, yeah. <clears throat> oh, and they got an email. Then I got my email and so yeah. I didn't reply to it. And literally their template was exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. Apart from the fact there was a couple yeah. of fonts that were in that like, bold and they were red. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, you that, and that's it, not. That, so your and software will basically filter out. Yeah, yeah. It's these small red flags that make or, or should make people think. So maybe you can get past exactly. that. But it's yeah, so, otherwise. So, yeah. so yeah. What, yeah. what you do what what you do is basically it'll fire up a bunch of errors saying, blah, you know, check this, check that, check that. The comparing the face to the ID in all seriousness, basically what that does is actually see is that person who's uploading. So you take a picture. Have you ever done it? Take the picture of your ID. I have, yeah. Selfie, and, and, right? and, and, and you do yeah. it with the, I mean, we have to remember the, the most smartphone cameras are fairly high def. Yeah. So they can take a really good picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And I imagine the AI can say, well, that was Kenny when he was 19. He's now yeah. 10, because most passports are 10 years or driver license, whatever it might be. I imagine they can evolve. Yeah, de definitely. It's, it's based on facial features. So it's quite right. accurate. And, and also it, it will determine things like um, the more, the smarter ones will look at actually emotions. Does he look a bit worried? Does he look... Uh -huh. You know, like scared. You must see a so, few of them. So you're you like really old. Stuart. Yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, if you're, if you're <laughs> upset, I suppose if you're, you know, you're, you're doing that for a bank and like you're yeah. doing their ID and it's like, I want 50 million. Yeah, exactly. And you're panicking on the inside. Yeah. Then that would, so, that, oh, so that's so, cool. But that's, that's the old way. So the, the thing about oh, that, wow. yeah, yeah. The thing about that is AI now can really screw the market up and it, right. and it is big time. it was so, going to be a question always to ask is how yeah, yeah. So, so deep, deep, deep deep fakes. i think deep fakes uh last year in the first quarter of last year deep fakes went up in the states 10x to the year before 
So wow. just in the first. So quarter, deep fakes, right? it, and you mean in be, being used in what you do, or just yeah, general- basically now. I mean, there's there's instructions online on on I can't remember which website's shown it, but like one of the big we'll big websites. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How you can go to a website and basically create your own uh, California driving license. Yeah, yeah. And it'll create it, and it'll be See, I've difficult. Seen, I, Danny, I've seen this. You, you, Bob you, Landslide. Yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. can create, and it's it, it's terrifying because you, you it, can't. UAE, when I spent some time years ago, you can use a WhatsApp chat as evidence on a court case. There are websites that let you recreate a totally fictitious yeah, you know, yeah, a WhatsApp yeah. chat, and it yeah. can be Stuart telling me life changing. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say wife <laughs> confidence boosting. Yeah, com- confidence yeah, yeah, yeah. Bo- boosting. <laughs> divorce and His application to NASA. Date yeah, of birth. All, all that wrong. kind of stuff. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and you could skew. You, you could skew a case. So we, you know, yeah. maybe there's an uh, episode of uh, content for. Oh, so using it as evidence, but it looks official. Well, well, of course. And thanks to our producer joining us. Uh, I've never you, checked. You, I've never uh, checked his ID. We'll uh, stick him. We'll no, stick no, him. Yeah, yeah. Software. <laughs> we'll ask him to make a mental note for a future episode. But I imagine them. The, surely, I mean, the AI. I mean, we, we know it has lots of really good uses. I think in the theme of the, our podcast, the the majority of uses, negative uses, outweigh sometimes the positive. Right. So, is it fair to say that in what, what Zenu is doing and the, the t- technology they're adopting? Is overcoming that, or is that a bigger risk for you? No, I, I fully embrace AI. I think it's pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, I use it today in general life. I get upset if an employee's writing an email, or I say, you know, use. There's our, a button for that. Yeah, there's a button right, to reply right. to that email. So I, I think we should Oscar. definitely yeah. embrace it. It's here, anyway. So there's not no there's point. There's your for questions. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice one. <laughs> Stuart Watkins. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smart GPT. I'm meeting this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I'm meeting Danny on nothing the, about it, our history. Just pop your name. Yeah. Yeah. podcast, instant script. Uh, so, but but is it posing risk to you, or is it? What it poses the key challenges. Yeah. So so as far as risks, what it poses for the companies that use our type of service is it's it it will contribute to it will increase the amount of fraud that they get right right um so the really advanced identity businesses are seeing about five six percent of fraud, fraud in see. deep fakes right they're yeah, the sorry, ones because that, of the, directly related to deep fakes, to deep fakes okay, yeah, but yep. they're the ones that can actually spot it and know about it there's a lot of companies that aren't as advanced as that right so businesses will suffer because basically they're going to get more and more people setting up accounts that are fake mm-hmm. when you're lending money or doing dodgy transactions on a bank account. That's right. one thing, but there's many other cases where fake ID is not a good thing, right? Of course. The, but the same technology can be used to combat those deep right. fakes, right? So so there are companies so writing AI up AI can combat AI. AI. Exactly. Like it. So AI like it. will spot AI produced or AI modified. It's a, it's like we, yeah. we talked about this, you know, you, a lot of like, university students who sit back and, you know, party a little bit and then chat GTV, GPT, their entire submission. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and their submit, there's plagiarism type plagiarism tools. Plagiarism yeah. Who go, nine out, sorry, one out of 10 for it because you, yeah, you're yeah. a lying turd and you, you yeah. And, but there are other tools that universities use to, to spot the AI. Uh, and and, and I, you know, I love. We're all massive uh, advocates of, of of AI in the right use. Yeah, yeah. So if if if, if you know five percent of if you think about the the five percent increase in money money lending, you look at the five percent increase in, in in all that kind of stuff. That could be a lot of money. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and therefore, how how do you how do you offset that? One question that occurred to me is. Particularly when I verify my identity for whatever reason, be that apps or and you and you and you scan the, the passport or your driving license. Revolut's a good example. Uh, based on where you, where you are, they will want a country specific ID, and I yeah. imagine the tech's aware. How do you, do you, that? That's using AI to compare two things that I might have. Is there any back end? Yeah, yeah. So ba- basically, that that's the 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 future in my view is data. Right. right. So the world. Uh, over. Yeah. Yeah. So, so one of one of the things that evolve is evolving is uh, something called electronic identity schemes. Mm-hmm. Right. So I think. Yep. In UK, you've got Gov ID. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. I don't know what there is in Scotland, yeah, but, yeah. but there's there's in Europe alone. Uh, we we have something called shit. I, I, I do believe it's Hag- uh, Haggis. Yeah, Haggis. Yeah, yeah. Haggis. Harold, <laughs> Harold Hamza. Ba- ba- booking yeah, guard. That's the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Hamza useless. Sorry. Uh, but you put you basically put a kebab. No, not kebab. Wrong country. Yeah, yeah, you put yeah. a pie in an envelope. And 
and you blow on it and send it off. And then you draw a picture of your cat. That's a cheat. Draw a picture of your cat and a can of iron brew. Yeah. yeah. Scott, <laughs> Scott <laughs> voting. Scott ah, he's legit. <laughs> however, however, my my other country, but back in my previous life, the Czech Republic, they've advocated and, and actually pushed forward with uh, digital ID. So you, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm not part of it now, but all that kind of stuff. But they've advocated moving well, there's, forward. Well, there's 36 countries in Europe now wow. that have them. Right? The man with the stats. So, so basically, um, that is a, that is your golden source of information, right? It comes and that's from verified the government. against the government. Gov government. Okay. Yeah, the government gives you an API. You log you into the government. Yep, yep, yep. You authenticate it as the person on boarding, right? And yep. they, and the government will check the check or we'll Scottish say, or, or British government will we'll say, say yes or no. This is that person, right? So, so that that's on the rise. Uh, Anti AI tech spoofing tech is on the rise, mm. yep. right? Um, and data services, all, albeit a bit more traditional, have a really strong play in the rise of AI. And that yeah. that is basically credit bureau data, right? So your experience, so, so your experience, Equifax, yep. Tip TransUnion will have your credit data, will have your address, experience. will yep. have your yeah, ID yeah, yeah. number. Right, 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 right. right? Yeah. So the ID number is key, and there, there are other sources of data. Like in the UK, we've got the electoral roll, yeah, which are registered. public, yep. more public sources of data and address data. Yep. So the 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 way to do it effectively, and the way that Revolut and all the other guys do it, is that the ID card is just one bit of about ten things, and then they bounce do. off. So they go to the electoral roll, yeah, cross check it against address, that. They'll look yeah. at it at they'll, they'll go to the DVLA and say, does yep. this number? correlate with what the number if is. If it's a I driving scan. license, bounce off the DLA. Yeah. If it's yeah. an address, bounce off the electoral I see so, it. I, I, yeah, I can understand it in banks, you know, and, and credit unions and, yeah. and what have you. But uh, as you've said, you know, for, for people's profiles, et cetera, in corporate, you know, your big, your big companies True. are hiring so many people, yeah. you know, yeah. in so many different, you know, waves. To do so. so is your your service do you offer do you, is it like an on-premise solution or is it a SaaS solution that you offer and people so we do both so our, what our what our solution does specifically is we're we're building out a marketplace of all these different yep. sets of data or services so they can so, cherry pick what they need yeah all the eid schemes all of the date credit bureaus all of the document verification which are the ones you see yep. we don't actually do that ourselves we are building a you, marketplace you can have broker it almost yeah yeah, yeah. and then uh, Today, what's happening is the banks or the employers or whoever they are, they have a relationship normally with these document verification yeah. companies, right? Yeah. So what you're seeing in the document verification world is those companies are struggling to become a one-stop shop. Yeah. Yeah. Because they know because they don't have enough data. They ain't going to do it anymore, yeah, 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 right? Because yeah, yeah. they can but, be falsified. Yeah. But what happens is that their tech is so embedded in HSBC and whatever, and they and they've uh, got hundreds of people just keeping this thing alive. Yeah, yeah. They okay. can't then just go and plug in thirty-six EID schemes. Yeah. Right? So what we offer those guys and they're our clients is what we're we're their backbone. They plug into us. They want and label can, and our can, tech. Yeah. Yep. And then and then they bundle that together and offer it to their clients. Their clients don't oh, know okay. any different. Right. So, so right. would it be fair to say that in, in that scenario, if you were to onboard Germany, Czech Republic, Belgium, and you have verification services in those countries, as long as they're connected to you... Yeah. So again, you, you well, no, you're integrated into their platform, aren't you? So yeah. instead of well, an API plugin, there it's plugged so in this they, way. And they're part of their corporate API field. Is connected to you, and if they want, I'm going to use the Revolut example again. If, if you wanted to onboard Belgium and you had verification services there, yeah. as long as they're connected to <clears> you, you could verify, so to speak, with a little bit of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're we'll pass through, and then yes. and that that yeah. works. So the typical example is like we'll, we'll have a. There's an identity verification business in Germany yeah. uh, that we're working with, right? They they do they're one of the biggest in Europe, but they they want to go into say Brazil as an right. example, yeah. right? But to do that, you Scottish need to integrate <laughs> into the credit bureau. You need to right. integrate into our. Now we we integrated in the credit bureau in two days on our tech, right. right? But for them, it would take them months to do it, right? Right. right? right. So it enables us to be a backbone to these companies that are then gonna. That already have those relationships sure, with the sure, sure, already sure, have the sure. market but we have the tech that they don't have we have the, the agility See, and yeah. Yeah. smart way to do now, it we try to be uh, Zenu we'll get you yeah, yeah. Zenu, uh, Zenu is definitely where to go now of course uh, uh, in, in, in full transparency given my previous Goldilock life um, uh, Stuart has uh, adopted Goldilock because we should talk a little bit about the data protection I have uh, two good questions for you uh, Stuart yeah one is uh, recently, uh, if you want the blue tick, the famous blue tick on your LinkedIn profile. Yeah, they wanted a flash of your passport. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And and I I'm of I'll flash of my passport. Yeah. But it's a different yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I thought, well, I'm not going to flash my passport because you never know where that data is going to go. Uh, surely, there's justification for flashing this all this ID, and then there comes a point where that's really not necessary. LinkedIn, 
I don't know if ID. I'd, I'd like to see something in the personally. I'd like to see something independent. Where I know that if I do that, they're not going to retain the data. Well, why is because, it necessary to flash ID? But well, well I think I think what? it's I think it's fair to say the internet is full of <clears throat> people that are not the same. People. Well, well you've got your GRDP. You've got this. You've, yeah, been, yeah, yeah. you've been a part of the service for that, that many doesn't stop decades. A, that doesn't I understand with banking forums. Yeah, and, and that's my point. I understand yeah, that. Yeah. You know, because yeah. so where's the line, in, right? Where's the line? Yeah. Well, I think on the so to answer the question around security, LinkedIn use a company called Persona. Right, okay. it's, a, yeah. it's the identity verifier. It's an American business, so they will comply with to American laws. So they, and they pull you off the privacy. persona. They do the thing. Yeah, yeah. they'll okay. they'll push your when you upload your ID. Yeah, it, that either goes straight to Persona's servers. Yeah. or goes via LinkedIn and API. Okay. Persona will then have all the ISO SOC two type accreditations to store oh, your data. Right, language. Um, SOC is very however, relevant in my life. These guys get hacked. They, they can get leaked yeah, right yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. um so 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 yeah security is definitely an issue and and what you i mean our our partners are companies like Experian, TransUnion, london yeah. stock exchange like yeah. big multi-billion yeah, yeah. pound companies that are distributing our product security is like uh, did i mention nasa should, should yeah. be yeah. 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 security yeah. Yeah. Well, security is layer after we've, we've many, many the, we, we have oh, been, oh, been, so been the subject to, to, to data exfiltration and, yeah. and a multitude of, of others and i'm not, not going to put the gold lock story because people are sick of hearing it but it's very relevant when you've onboarded something that should be siphoned off segregated all that sort of good stuff yeah Tony, we know the story and i always think that there, there, there's a line from which it's justified and needed and that's particularly when you're signing contracts transacting that sort of stuff yeah after which there's less of a need more of a preference so if i choose to be verified then i will surrender my my, my passport whatever it might be on linkedin i, I haven't changed but i haven't had to surrender front the, my passport or my data details yeah, because that's and, and it's okay to do that yeah you don't, I'm, I'm not they're not lending me there's no risk yeah and, yeah, yeah. and i always argue that you, you do this on a risk-based approach. So yeah. if I'm borrowing money, whatever it might be, that's relevant. So how do you overcome that? I mean, how do you overcome that? So, so the, the, the way that the industry is going, mm -hmm. and again, we'll facil we're facilitating this, is uh, you have the rise of the AI, but you have the rise of the reusable credential, reusable ID, right? So what like a that, universal almost ID? Like a verified ID? Yeah, so ba basically <laughs> what, what happens is you have the uh, parties that will authenticate your identity, which are these guys that scan your IDs, yeah. cross-check the data set. So the one in the US you mentioned? Yeah. Pros I was Persona. Gonna say, I was going to say prostate, Persona. but definitely no, not prostate. Not Prostona. <laughs> By the way, if you're over 50, go and have your prostate <laughs> yeah. checked. If you're over 70, you get... <laughs> not your Persona. Yeah, not your yeah. Persona. <laughs> well, if you turn around and say, does that hurt? And you go, wibble the yeah. you've got a good person. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you should have your prostate authenticated. Right, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Sorry, Stuart. So, so you have these, uh, the kind of issuers of the ID that will verify that person. And then using blockchain or other types of ways, cool. you, you get a, uh, uh, a reusable identity. Now, what is happening, however... All the companies are rushing to do this. So a lot of the big document verification companies are doing it. Yeah. The governments are doing it. That's slow, you know, to a certain degree, what the government identity schemes are. Yeah. And then you have, uh, I think, Google, uh, Microsoft, definitely. With, yeah. uh, and uh, they're all going and, to do and, this. And the, the issue yeah. is it will be all fragmented, right? There'll be uh, hundreds you, of people you're doing it. You're yeah, going to end up with a yeah. multitude of fragmented ID. Yeah, yeah. Fragmented IDs based on who supports what. Yeah, who, and, and who we, holds, who, who retains the data. So if, if so you're in plugged that, into a in company, that world, they retain it. Yeah, in that, in that world, basically, you have the reusable ID. Mm -hmm. And I don't know the inner workings of those, but... You know what the, you can do? Yeah. Ask, you can ask yeah. the audience. Ask the audience, yeah. <laughs> By the way, wait, this wait, is wait, a wait. new feature. We can yeah. ask the audience. Ask the audience. If you want to plug in next week, we'll ask, ask the audience. And ask a friend. I'll phone my wife. You can phone. Yeah, we're going to talk. We're going to conference people in. Minds. You yeah. 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 And just in case you don't know, the producer behind the camera just fallen off a seat worrying about how we're going to do this. You can phone in, ask the audience of 50-50 in the tree. What's the game called? Uh, who wants to be? Uh, ah, I mean, like, yeah. Who wants to be on the podcast? Yeah. Who wants to be on the podcast? Uh, so we were <laughs> quiz we, we were quizzing uh, Stuart on exactly how much or which question was going to do it. So back to you, Stuart. Are yeah. you phoning the audience, phoning the audience, phoning the audience, phoning your friend. Yeah. Uh, no, you phoned yeah. James to be playing golf. Yeah, exactly. exactly. They don't know how it's stored. I, I, and I yeah, imagine so, these so. these verified ID sources are so you flash your passport, they're verified, and and systems can use. That yeah, but the, the question was retention of the data. Yeah, yeah so yeah. the best, I don't know, but the best way f to do it be some offline storage because yeah. at that point, basically, you've verified the identity. You don't really 
Need and this is the point back, back, in, back, in, back in the gold lock days, you know, the points of verification are onboarding, which is why Stuart's yeah. here today. So you verify that, you retain that. There's a need to re-verify that at periodic times, I imagine, maybe when you're signing a new contract. Uh, but, the, but the documents and the data needed to do that don't need to be readily available uh, on the office networks, whatever they can be siphoned off. Well, that, must be, that must be a disadvantage or a challenge that I mean, if, if it was me myself, yeah, you know, so we've have employed your services, you know, we're integrated into your into your system and your passports on and the my, system. Yeah, yep. and that, that data's been scanned, it's been, you know, AI profiled. Yep. Yeah, you're fine. Off you go to NASA with Bill, yeah. Bill Skydrop. Yeah. But where does my data go? And that well, and, and, yeah, so so I, I think first of all, today, what's the, the the majority of onboarding cases today is email. Right. Yeah. So if you've ever worked with a lawyer, an accountant, or whoever it is, you send right? a scan of your passport. If you go to any law firm, accountancy, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do in the UK, don't they? When you they get a yeah. contract, yeah, all yeah. of the admins inboxes are full of people's email, uh, identity yeah. numbers, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, before it was scanned, right? Exactly. In the, in and why do they say you, 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 need, so, you need four or three data points to steal your identity, name, passport, address? So I, I forget what the current yeah, thing is. I don't know that yeah. either. But the so. The bed, the, with, <laughs> with these reusable, yeah. <laughs> gone. Yeah. 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 That's prostate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stuart tomorrow is having his prostate. prostate yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm all right downstairs, but he's got my passport. Yeah. I don't need my prostate. Though. I'm 36. Yeah. <laughs> you wish. Yeah. I've had it twice. I'm picking yeah, up your age. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tomorrow he's checked him tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Stuart. Carry on. So, that, so those ID they, with those schemes, I don't know where they store. So not, I don't know any work. No, no, but, but the best way would be. That those schemes have them in on board, off siphon off secure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When when do people actually need those documents? Yeah. And not it's not just documents. There's all the auxiliary information like credit check, your form bill, it, your, yeah. your, all that kind of stuff. It's yeah. when the auditors come or the government. Yes. So basically, so what happens moment. is yeah, yeah, yeah. you're on board a company for I don't know a wealth account in Bahamas, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, the regulator will come and say, tomorrow I want you to show me all the stuff that yeah. you're collecting. <clears throat> it's normally they've got a few hours' notice because they can't fudge it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so sorry, basically, they, so, f oh, sorry, sorry. so they have to have an archive. I I said something else. They have to have an archive that they can quickly. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, and, and so that would be the safest way. We will definitely see a tremendous <coughs> amount of data leaks and issues coming yeah, up. Right? It, 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 yeah, because back in the past, you'd have no qualms about oh, I'm getting a new job. I'll send you my details. Yeah, but these yeah, days, you just. Yeah. You, so well, much well, more well, aware well, of well, your details out there. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, someone will, you know. I, I mean, know, you should be, you know, if you, if, if, you know, if, you, if you look at these, the, the, the stories of, uh, what's a good example? Unsecured S3 data buckets. Yeah. And they're just, because of the because of the onboarding, all the files get siphoned off because there might be high res, I don't know, four or five megatons, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. they might be. And people just go and go, oh. And you know what you do you, with you, S3 you, buckets? <laughs> Because it's log management. Ah, you do dumps. He, lo <laughs> he loves that. Uh, so in, get, in my data lake. <laughs> you've, got, you've got all these unsecured sources that can be uh, pillaged and, and pilfered. Yeah. And you need, uh, I forget what the current thinking is about what it takes to steal Kelly's data. Well, that's, that's, right. that's large scale when you, yeah, you know, you're, you're emptying you unsecured get, buckets. And you, but you see the exfiltration of terabits of data. Yeah, yeah. And then next thing you know, your, your passport's all over the internet, whatever it might be, and, and, and shit can really go down, right? Yeah. And, you, and you've heard of people taking loans out in your name. Uh, back in the COVID days, there was good examples of bounce back loans. Well, people will provide verification for buying cars and fucking all sorts. It was on Good Morning Brent yeah. this morning. Yeah, right. so he got basically just convinced, for... convinced the woman to give her account for yeah. some yeah. crypto. Yep. Then he went out and he took 10 loans in her name to yep. the tune of 150 grand. Yep. Yeah. And then she had to pay it back and he went and spunked it. Yeah. 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 See, so that's, yeah, not very nice, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's well, I mean, what, what are the challenges you face, though? You go to a company yeah. and they come up with these kind of questions. But sure, surely yeah. you help them like majestically. Yeah. So the way the way to help them is just to use more data points. You can't just do data one point, yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to have a strategy, and that strategy needs to use multiple different things that you cross check. Yeah. Right. Um, so so without that, you can't verify someone's identity. Right. Then when it comes to things like uh, the lady getting the yeah, loan yeah. in the digital world, if they had a reusable ID or a government ID, yeah. basically it would send to her app 
which is installed on her phone. Yes, that was that's an authentication request. Yes, yeah, yeah. right. So yeah. you've been you've been so, checked. Yeah. You know, are you approving this? And that's where yeah. it will go. Yeah. And that's yeah. the, the trajectory. Like in, yeah, well, he, conv he convinced yeah. this woman. No, he convinced this woman to download this app. She went on it and gave him the details for this app. He's got you know the corresponding back end. Well, so she's just bloody yeah. stupid, isn't she? Yeah, you can't, you can't have can't that. Can't say stupid. You can say naive. Okay, she's yeah, naive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, misinformed. <laughs> yeah, Bob will be on the phone tomorrow. Yeah. Going, <laughs> because, yeah, do it. because these, yeah. I'm going to say it, bastards, bastards are yeah. really convincing. Um, yeah, and we, yeah, and we yeah. shouldn't, we shouldn't. The average person can be very convincingly rumbled on and 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 and, and taken advantage of. So you, I mean, you've got that. That's one angle on it, right? But there are so many others. So uh, now to drop some more names up. But we're yeah. we're client, uh, we have clients like uh, Sotheby's and De Beers yep. soon. So these guys like sell high value goods. Sure, right? yeah, yeah. And they have money millions coming. And millions. Coming. Yeah, so money coming busy, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell yeah. How, many, how many dinners he's had. Oh, I'm with Lord Farquhar today. We're just going to go. <laughs> we're going to shoot some grouse and have a pinky pink. What's that TV show on, on Netflix right now? That, Gentleman. That's, that's, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's yeah. always yeah. been a baller. Yeah. 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 Oh, what's going on? You want some more identity verification? So, you, are you, are you, so you're constantly reinventing what you're doing to make it better and more secure. I say, by yeah. adding more and more things to it. More so, that, so that's more where the marketplace is key. There isn't. I Today, see. a marketplace, and we're building one. And, and why? Why is that important? We will. Our our vision is to power the entire identity industry see, I love this. via this marketplace. People and, can and, pick and choose and drive. And, and, and you, and you can right? have primary yeah. segment. I mean, we talk about multi factor authentication loads yeah. in the podcast. Yeah. So if you've got an uh, addressed identification, but you inherent in that data is name verification, Definitely. then you post yeah. that you got, or something yeah. else. Yeah. You got a double whammy, you can be doubly, doubly, triply sure yeah, yeah. if you're spending and, really millions on a, a corporate or, account is plugged into a HR system that's yeah, plugged yeah. into that database that you know if yeah. you laterally you know, I mean, if you, if, you, if you assume that everyone's got, everything's at risk until it's not, but everything is at risk. No, no, there's no, yeah, yeah. there's no hundred percent the secure anything. Right. Right. No, no, because there's for constant sure. changes. For sure, yeah. constant yeah. changes. If you assume sure. everything's at risk, and 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 you work on, a, you know, we work in cyber tech. You work on a risk reducing strategy, twenty four seven three six five. Yeah. There, and you you'll never get it to zero. But yeah. You, you get it to acceptable. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's the then, same as uptime of you know infrastructure, isn't it? Which we predominantly manage. There's exactly. no such thing as 100% uptime because no. something can go you, down. You, 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 you get 9.9 to 9 a night, but there's always a few minutes. Are you, are you so looking you... for people constantly? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So what, well, what well, kind of people? Sure. Yeah. Well, who do you need, Stuart? <laughs> okay, Anyone please. you need right now? Well, no. Yeah. Uh, no, rabbit. Not, <laughs> <laughs> Pizza and condoms, yeah. Stuart. Do you do rabbits? Yeah. 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 Multilingual I rabbits. I like rabbits. Yeah, Multilingual great. programming. I thought you get, 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 get a ping on the show and if... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah well, def definitely product, security, infosec type people. Uh, I know people. Yeah, infosec No, definitely. I have a question. We do all this... DevOps. DevOps. Sorry, DevOps. We do all this onboarding. We make sure they're really secure. Yeah. How do you offboard? I don't know. Call the crash. Bye, Dave. Retro I can't do that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. no the I think there's another, there's another world-changing business that probably does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or an evolution that you need to pivot. So, so, so there's so. maybe something that we could look at for, but no, uh, for but a future but my, my view is... Yeah. Uh, That'd no, be very no, difficult. No, 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 yeah, no company... Well, I mean, particularly... Because the data's going let's, across so many different stages. Let's frame this a little bit more... Once you've onboarded somebody, there are data retention rules for five, seven, eight, depending on the jurisdiction, 20 years. The, where, yeah. where if you've contract, uh, contracted, no, conducted business. <laughs> Prostate.com. <laughs> There's a theme here. Uh, when yeah, you, we've we've bought a dump. If, yeah. you, <laughs> if you transacted business, you have to maintain records. Yes. Therefore, absolute offboarding, data deletion is never going to happen. Yeah. However... Surely, in the world of where you're, you're well, say you're but it's a news case. Going. They're not. They're there's just a, there's like a they're use case where upon the middle, nobody can say Kenny's applying for a loan. There's, the, the, there's no verification. You terminate. Your, like I'm not going to get a push message yeah. because Stuart's done it on board me after the the duration of our our, our contract. Yeah. So so where, where we work is in the field of if you imagine there are thousands of companies out there and government yeah. functions like EIDs, electric IDs. Yeah. So so our mission in life is to bring them all together to make life safer for us all mm -hmm. right yeah. and, and continually innovate there because there's no way that those big companies can do it even the small no, ones no. No, they, they, you need they a humongous budget and, 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 they, can, and they can't do it at the, at the, at the pace they need to or yeah exactly so yeah, we, do, we do that now now from that perspective what do we need to do we we need to attract that marketplace we need to integrate that marketplace we'll be releasing end of this year that these guys can actually build their own apps in our marketplace Wonderful. so it'll be self-fulfilling but, well, that, every, everyone everyone in our marketplace has a desire to be there and a need to be there so they'll be driven to do it yeah right yeah. 
Now, when you talk about offboarding, it's a lot more complicated because when you onboard someone into a business, mm -hmm. you normally have some kind of onboarding system, of course. right? And then it will go into CRM, uh, a credit, you know, a core banking system. In the case account, of, all that, yeah. There'll, be, there'll yeah. be three or four different systems it sits in. If you've gone into debt in a, in a credit world, it'll go into a separate debt collection yeah, yeah. system, right? Those systems are quite often old. The shortcut. Shit, the right? shortcut. Sure, yeah. shortcut. Old, old. Anything to do with There's the bank no or, APIs. Yeah. There's no APIs. No marketplace. So, so, I mean, I've done offloading in my previous business, and it is a nightmare even for the business that's doing it because to be able to connect into those systems and automatically purge or um obfuscate the data yeah. or partly d delete bits is is it's a nightmare a nightmare and my question and my, there's no system to do that correct and my question was a little bit loaded offboarding doesn't carry the risk of onboarding because I, uh, the, arguably at that point yeah. assuming there's no decollection but be you're had, still getting rid of people's you, you know, data. For, for sure yeah. but there's no risk arguably to whoever's onboarded them because for so long as correct. there's no debt to collect the, the relationship we don't want debt collectors yeah. no, no, ben, no, 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 no take yeah, yeah. my name straight out <laughs> uh, right. anyway Kenny on so, that note we're going to have to uh, we're yeah, going to we're gonna have to wait up just before we do a good example mum bought a TV years ago yeah. uh, they, they have to check the delivery address and all that kind of risk stuff yeah. at the point of purchasing yeah but at the point when she decided she didn't want it too big yeah nice, <laughs> nice choice whereas we go it's too small yeah, exactly yeah. returning it took longer yeah 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 but as an example because there isn't the risk of returning it yeah. and, you, and you don't want to take back a product that's been open to taking out the no, box well, well, I, don't well, think, exactly. I don't think we get solved no no and, 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 and off, off boarding is, is just simple I don't think it's just as interesting I yeah. don't think there's enough focus and all that kind of stuff however Data retention, you know, oh. the, the right Google's right to be forgotten, all like it will yeah, become yeah, relevant. Yeah, it means that the identity you brought in is no longer needed. There's no benefit of it. But yeah. actually, but the, but the, yeah, the, yeah. and the key word there is obfuscation beyond the point, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that needs to, where, where the data is anonymized. But that, that's a massive investment for the companies for sure. to do yeah. it. The only and it's time, not interesting, right? The only time they'll ever do it is when regulators force them to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew, yeah. I knew yeah, you were going to say that. that. Or incentivize them to. Yeah. No, like you lose their license. Right, so we'll wrap this up. Danny, we, will, uh, again, we, we, we could speak about this all, all, all we day. Could, it's then. interesting. Yeah. yeah. No, again, thank you to Intelligence Coscom. I got it right at the start. I put a cat in there. I put a cat in there at the start. A cat. Intelligence so Coscom. Change it to, so you can actually say it. Yeah. 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 Thanks to the partners. We'll put it on the screen so then it doesn't fuck up. Exactly. It's down there anyway. So ring the bell, subscribe, tell your mates. It'll be on YouTube next week. If you are interested in any of the positions, you know where to go to it. Intelligence Coscom. We will be listing zenu.com. Which is, which is, uh, I've done it again. So I've got cat, dog, rabbit, and budget. Anyway, it's good night from me. Thanks, Stuart, uh, for coming. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks very much, mate. Great, Loved great it. And you. it's good night from Kenwa. And we'll see you next time.